hello everyone. Say hi babies. Hello, hello. I am here with Rosita and Paddington's F2B mini golden doodles. This is an English line because Rosita is an F1 English cream golden doodle. And although she's red, her um, mom was solid white English cream and her dad, of course, was a red poodle and that's how she got to be red. Hi! <laughs> this is our second video. They are four weeks old. And come here, come here. We're kind of tuckered out right now. So hopefully I can get them awake for us so they can run around and play. But because of that English line, you're gonna see a little more blocky faces out of this litter. This is a litter of six. We have four boys, just two little girls. Yes! And uh, they um, are all gonna be a soft cotton wavy. This is a non-shedding. And so that regular shaggy ragamuffin look that you get from the regular doodle. Um, of course, you know we love our F2Bs. Um, we were able to start that here at Lamgo Farms. And so that's my specialty. I do a lot of talking about the F2Bs. Of course, we do other generations, but that's one of my favorites because you get the wonderful shaggy coat that so many love, but without the shedding. And say my, this is the stage where the hair is starting to grow around the eyes and we get a little bit of tearing right now. That's not gonna be uh, a permanent tearing. So you're not gonna have any kind of tear stains or anything like that. Um, so in these babies, um, you're gonna see we have, and I'm sorry, we are getting ready to have a storm here. And so we have, um, it's not super bright in here. I was hoping it might be a little brighter. So it's kind of hard to tell all of their colors. I'm gonna kind of put this little guy next to the potty pad so you can see a solid white. We have what I call apricots, peanut butters, and then of course, red in this litter. So uh, let me go ahead and go through everybody. And let's start with this little guy here, this little yellow collar boy. Um, another thing about this litter is we have, now this is our mini size. So that means they mature between 20 and 30 pounds. We have three that are gonna be closer to that 20 pound range, and then three are the, that are gonna be in the upper 20s. So this little guy, yellow collar boy, is an apricot, and he is gonna... Okay, I'm once again having memory issues. So let's get, let's get everybody in here. Um, okay, so next in the boys is orange collar boy, and he's gonna be in the upper 20 pound range. Say, I'm a chunk -a monk. And he is an apricot, almost almost a creamy color. He is very light. Look at him. He's got that traditional F2B look. I love that, yes. And next, let's go to dark green collar boy, who is a light red or a peanut butter color. I would say more of a, a peanut butter color. Dark green collar boy, hi. And he's also gonna be in the upper 20 pound range. And the last in the upper 20 pound range is gonna be another uh, light red or peanut butter color boy, and that's dark blue collar boy. That little white chin is kind of a, a Rosita trademark. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so those are the three um, upper 20s, and you can see they're all laying here. So you can see like a light red, this creamy apricot, and then peanut butter on the boys. Um, and then the little boy, where did, you, where did you go? Oh, you're over here. Oh, I can't reach you. Oh, the littlest boy right here. You can kind of see his color in there. He's like, what the heck? All right, let me go to the two girls. We have Lavender Collar Girl here. And she is also a lighter, creamy apricot color. Hi. I'm just a little put and pop. Yes, you are. Yes, you are so sweet. And then let's get our dark pink collar girl who is a darker red. See, I'm gonna be a true red. And so lavender and pink and then yellow are gonna be our uh, smaller ones, around 20 pounds. There, can you see the size difference when I put them together? And then you got the three chunky monkeys. 
Yes, but we love Chunky. We do. So at four weeks old, we're not, we're not, I'm going to wake him up here in just a minute. See, we're kind of tired. We're not going to do too much for us right now, which is sad because we want to see you walk around and move. Yes, we do. <laughs> so at four weeks old, they're still with mama. They're still nursing. Uh, let's check teethies. Oh, yeah, we got some teethies coming in. Yes, we do. Let's check your teeth. Yes. So they get their gruel, which is their soft, mushy food that we've been giving them. See, we got teeth. We got teeth. Let's see, does baby? Nope, nope. She's got teeth buds, but they're not in yet. I want to see your teethies. Yep, we've got teeth there. And once everybody has these canines in, then we will go ahead. Of course, they can eat off of mama's food. Mama has food at all times. Yep, so it's just little little pinky here we're waiting on. But um, they will nibble on her kibble. And once everybody has their teeth, then we'll um, give them primarily kibble for their meals. We do give them gruel during the weaning process. For instance, the few days that we take to get them away from mama. We will, hello triplets, hello. We will go ahead and give them um, some gruel during that time to make sure that they aren't stressed and they have all the nutrition that they need. Is there any white? I want to say they're just, just a tad white on this chin. We'll have to see if that stays. Excuse the barking in the back, I'm crate training. Um, we have Jasmine's babies are in their crates right now with a buddy, yes. So next week already, guys, is temperament testing. Each of these puppies are temperament tested. And then I will take not just the results from the testing, but I will do a full assessment. Um, because our family is, we're a homeschooling family, everybody is here, we are very hands-on. Everybody has a part in this business. It is not just me. Um, I will sit down with everybody. We will literally go through each puppy and get everybody's opinion, including our three youngest, because oftentimes these babies are going to um, families with children, small children, and or young children, I should say, and um, I wanna get their opinion because we have a lot of different personalities in our children. Um, we have a daughter that does not like any kind of forward puppy. Um, she knows how to correct them, but she doesn't want any puppy that's just gonna come and pounce on her. And that opinion matters to me because maybe you have a child that is the same way and we want to give you that information. We want to relay that to you so that you say, you know, this is a nice puppy and all, but my child is a little fearful and that may not be a good fit for our home. So we'll just give you all of our assessment on everybody. Um, you know, they really do, our children have a really good memory for each puppy and their collar color. So, um, of course, we're, we're in with the puppies when, when we talk about them, but it's one of those things where, um, you know, they might have a favorite just because of a collar color. And if that's the case, they will hold them a lot more often. And that kind of, I feel, changes the puppy a little bit and makes them a little more used to being carried around by a young child. So we're gonna make all of those notes in our temperament testing results. And that way you can um, make that decision based on everything, not just videos. They're all cute guys, especially these English litters. They're all gonna have a very similar looking face. You're just gonna have some different sizes, different colors, obviously genders. And we wanna make sure that you are choosing um, also with personality in mind, because cute can only go so far. You gotta make sure that they mesh. Now we do breed for uniformity and temperament. We mix temperaments. We've been mixing the same lines for so long that we're pretty uh, confident in our temperaments. But again, you need to make sure that that temperament meshes with not only you, but if you have any other uh, animals in the family, they all need to be able to mesh. Look at us. Say we are conked out at this stage. Yes. So uh, next week I'm gonna talk a little more about uh, picking. 
Um, we're gonna send you your puppy picking instructions, which uh, has the directions to the farm and kind of lets you know what to expect. I'll talk to you next week a little more about children, um, bringing children to the appointments, including children in your picking. Um, we wanna do everything that we can do to help and assist you with your choice. It is your choice, not my choice. Some people ask me to kind of come in and give my opinion, and I am glad to do that. But in the end, it is your choice as to which puppy you take home. All right, I'm gonna give them a second. We're gonna kind of wake up, and I will let you watch them play for a minute. And we will talk to you guys next week. Have a good weekend.